Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy AS80 here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a quality profile picture for your YouTube channel. Now, I will be designing my profile picture in Adobe Photoshop 6, but you can do it in any Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, then I recommend downloading it. It is a very, very good app for designing. It is around $25 a month and if you can't afford that, then you can look up on YouTube for some similar apps or either crack it if you guys know how to also if you guys find this video helpful i would politely ask you if you could leave a like on this video and share it around it would really help me if you also want more designing tutorials consider subscribing and suggest me a designing video idea in the comments all of your support is greatly appreciated and now let's get into this video okay guys so now the first thing that i always do when i open up photoshop is go to file and go to new and then i type in the resolution that I will need to have for my profile picture now for YouTube profile picture um, it is actually 800 by 800 so here you enter 800 pixels by 800 pixels so I click OK right here so now we have kind of a transparent square right here so now the first thing that I will do I first need to think of how I want my profile picture to look like so now I think the first thing you want to know is what background color do you want now a lot of times I don't just have a background color so I go into Google and I type let's say um, symbol background there you go so we want kind of like I am thinking in like a way I would have some symbols and then I would have like color on these symbols. So I can't find anything like interesting. I want to look actually for a PNG picture right here. So also I don't find anything that would be interesting to me. So then what I would do here. I would search up a like symbol that I want in, in like my background. So let's say I'm going to say I want a warning sign PNG. So I right click on that, I click save the picture and then I save it as how I want. So now what I do, I want to click place, file and then place and then I want to search for my symbol. You, you guys could do like only color in the background but I want to do it with some symbols so it's like, like more of an interesting profile picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here and create new layer and move this layer uh, under this warning sign symbol that we have here so if I click on it there you go I'm gonna make more of these because I don't want to have only one symbol so I'm gonna paint so I'm gonna click on that brush tool and I'm gonna paint that with black so you can actually select color right down here so I'm gonna paint that all black there you go. There you go. So that's all black right now. And now we want to place this warning sign somewhere over here. And then I'm going to just con control J. And I'm going to make a lot of copies of this sign. Actually a little bit more. There you go. Like 10 copies. So and I'm going to place these copies somewhere around like like that I'm gonna turn some of these symbols so I'm gonna rotate them so it looks kind of like it looks cooler I think than than if they're all in the same in the same way turned in the same way so I'm gonna rotate a lot of these so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna make some signs a little bit bigger and some a little bit smaller so now i added a little bit more of this warning signs so now i have kind of this like a pattern of symbols and now what i can do is i can motion blur some of these uh warning symbols because it looks way cooler when they're like motion blurred you can do that by going to filter uh blur and motion blur so as you can see it looks like so motion blurred and you can set it right here so there you go i'm gonna set it to like i don't know like eight 
and angle is like whatever you want i'm gonna just do 69 all right so i'm gonna motion blur all of these so as you can see right now i motion blurred all of my symbols right here so now what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna add a little more symbols so i'm gonna go control j there you go so that looks good to me actually i'm gonna add something to the background guys so i put a fire png file over here so it looks way cooler right now so you guys can search this up on google uh there are like many designing packs uh just search on youtube designing packs or something like that and we'll find this now we have the background hopefully you guys have done your background as well and now we get on to the text so i'm gonna click on this text like this t horizontal type tool there you go you guys will probably want a really cool font for your text for your youtube name go to like a page like the font or something like that and download fonts from here so just search up cool fonts in google and you will get some results so guys i chose my font i actually have the focus one font now i don't know which color to pick for this font because there's so many colors now i've decided i'm gonna have a black stroke but i really don't know which font i mean which color should i have two thousand years later guys i've decided i'm gonna have red look at that that looks absolutely beautiful now what you want to do is control a and uh go back to the move tool and click on align horizontal centers and align vertical centers there you go now i think pretty much that's it what you need for a profile picture now once you have everything done you go to file and save as and then you want to save a photoshop file so if you're not like happy with your profile picture you can then go into this photoshop file and edit it that's why you want to save it as a photoshop file as well i'm gonna name it youtube uh youtube profile picture asc80 there you go i'm gonna save that okay and then also you want to save it as a jpg file so this is actually the picture file and then here we go click just leave quality to 12 and maximums so you have the maximized quality you can on this profile picture and then you click ok now guys i'm gonna actually show you how to apply your profile picture to your channel click edit profile picture and it takes you to channel customization site and then you want to click change and then the last thing you want to do you want to search for your uh, JPG file of the profile picture that you just made and here you go that looks absolutely amazing and you click done and as you can see the new profile picture is applied now I'm not gonna publish this yet because I want to change up the colors of the text a little bit uh but yeah this is all for this video if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful please leave a like on this video it would help me a lot and if you're new please subscribe it would really help me a lot like all of your support is greatly appreciated i really appreciate it as much as i can and i'm gonna do some giveaways since it's december and it's almost christmas so i'm gonna do some giveaways so you guys could you know get something by watching my videos and supporting me so yeah this is it for this video i just hit some shots but it was rain yeah thousand dummy things damage in my brain yeah just wanna escape by hopping on the plane